Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with another math problem today. Here's the problem I'm going to be showing you how to do today. I'm going to be kind of continuing along the theme of this week of finding the equation of tangent lines to a given function. This week, or I'm sorry, today we're going to be getting into a little bit more complicated of an example, though, that'll kind of build off of the first two videos that I've posted uh, for this week. And the reason why this one's going to be slightly more complicated is the first two videos that I did this week, which I'll link to here, if you haven't already seen those, um, they had an explicit formula for y. They just had like y equals some function of x. With this one, though, we have our y's and x's all kind of jumbled up together. So we're going to have to actually use implicit differentiation here. So I do also have some videos on implicit differentiation. If you haven't checked those out or you're kind of um, need a little bit more work on implicit differentiation, go check out those videos first and then come back to this one because I'm going to kind of gloss through it a little bit quicker. Um, just to kind of get to the tangent line portion uh, of a problem like this. So what we're going to be doing is finding the equation of the line that is tangent to this curve, y cubed plus xy minus x squared equals 9, at the point 1, 2. So just like we did with our other videos uh, about tangent lines, we need to check two things, basically, in order to make sure that the linear function that we're coming up with is a tangent line at that point. First of all, we need to make sure that our line has the same slope as this curve at that point. And second of all, it needs to go through that point, 1, 2. So the slope piece should make you think derivative, right? The derivative is exactly what the slope is represented by. So if we're trying to find the slope of this, this curve here, we are going to represent that with dy dx dy dx just means the change in y divided by the change in x, which is exactly what the slope means. It just means rise over run or you know, change in height over change in width. That's exactly what slope is. So what we're looking for here is dy dx. So how we're going to find that is by applying implicit differentiation to this problem here, or this curve here. So what that means is we're going to take uh, the derivative with respect to x of both sides of this equation. So doing that, we're going to have to use implicit differentiation, right? So first of all, the derivative of y cubed with respect to x is going to use the chain rule because y is a function of x. Taking the derivative there, we're going to have chain rule where basically y is our inside function. And then this kind of cubed piece is basically like our outside function. So taking the derivative of the outside, leaving the inside alone, is just going to be power rule, right? Bring the, the three down in front leave the inside y alone and lower the power by 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. And then we're going to have to multiply that by the derivative of the inside. Our inside function is just y. The derivative of y is just going to be dy dx. Okay, then we're going to have the derivative of xy, which is going to require the use of the product rule. So the product rule says derivative of the first piece times the second. The derivative of x is 1 times y is going to be 1 times y. And then we're going to have plus the first times the derivative of the second. The derivative of y is dy dx. And then we're going to have minus x squared. The derivative of that is just going to be 2x by power rule. And then equals the derivative of a constant 9 is just going to be 0. So now we have this equation with x's, y's, and dy dx. Just like I did in my implicit differentiation videos, what we want to do now is move all of our dy dx terms to one side and all of our non-dy dx terms to the other side of the equation. So this term here has dy dx. We'll leave it over on the left side. This term here does not have a dy dx, so we'll subtract y over to the other side. So that'll cancel there. This term here has a dy dx, so we'll leave it on the left side. And then this term does not, so we'll add 2x to both sides, which will cancel on the left, and we'll move it over to the right. So that leaves us with 3y squared dy dx. And then this term is gone. We just have plus x dy dx. This term is gone. So then over here, we just have minus y plus 2x. Okay. So now both terms on the left side of our equation here both have a dy dx in them. So now we can factor out dy dx. So factoring out a dy dx from the left side of our equation, we'll pull out dy dx. And 
that'll get rid of this one. So we'll be left with 3y squared here. Pull the dy dx out of this term, and that'll just leave us with an x. And then over on the left side, we haven't changed anything. Then to get the dy dx by itself, all we have to do is divide by 3y squared plus x. So dy dx equals minus y plus 2x over 3y squared. Okay, so dy dx represents the slope of our given our curve that we were given. In order to find out the slope at the specific point we want, we would need to basically plug in the xy coordinate of the point we're looking at to get the slope at that point. So remember the, the point that we are looking at is the point one, two. So we need to find the slope of our given curve at the point one, two, which would require us to plug in one for x and two for y. So doing that will give us minus two, y is two, plus two times one, x is one, over three times two squared plus one, Simplifying this, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 minus 2 is 0, and then on the bottom we're going to end up with 2 squared is 4, times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13. But 0 over 13 is just 0. So basically at this point our slope of our function is 0. And then the other piece is we need to make sure that our tangent line goes through the point 1, 2. So in general, the equation for our tangent line, if we use the point slope formula, which is usually going to be easier when you're dealing with these tangent line equations, is going to look like this. y equals m x minus x0 plus y0, where m is the slope, x0 is the x-coordinate of a point that we know goes in this, lies on this line, and y0 is the y-coordinate of a point that we know lies on this line. So we just found out our slope here is going to be 0, right? This is what dy dx was when we plugged in our xy coordinate. So that's going to go in for m. We want to put in the x coordinate of our point for x0 and then the y coordinate of our point for y0. So our tangent line is going to look like this. To simplify, 0 times x minus 1 is just 0 plus 2 is going to be 2. So our tangent line that goes through that point is actually going to just be the constant function y equals 2.